Hello. Hello. We can hear you and see you. Uh, feel free to kick off your uh, workshop on influences and KOLs whenever you're ready. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Now let me start. Let me share my screen. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Anton. Um, uh, uh, let me shortly uh, describe about what uh, the, will be the workshop. Uh, I'm co-founder of uh, BFAB, Influencer Reputation Protocol, which we built on ICP. And uh, today I want to describe shortly about our reputation protocol. Uh, yes. And uh, uh, there are some use cases which we, uh, you also can uh, use uh, and uh, implement in your projects uh, and something like this. And uh, it's also I share what we learned uh, more about the uh, product side, uh, how we implement and uh, build it, and also what the technology we used. But I think there are a lot of uh, workshops which already described all possible technologies on ICP. Uh, and uh, also later I'll share uh, life hacks for the hackathon. Uh, yes, because uh, let me shortly introduce myself. I co founder of BFAB. And uh, we, um, uh, before this, I launched more than 20 blockchain pr pr products on the market and worked as a service company, uh, ex founder of a service company which built this product. And we m met with a team and for product for. Uh, 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 yearly pro projects uh, on the uh, hackathons and uh, had a lot of experience on the hackathons, uh, especially in blockchain sphere, and wo won more than 30 hackathons. And uh, also, I can share maybe my thought, uh, what is very important to think when you take part in the hackathons. Okay, let's start uh, shortly about uh, our current product, what we built. It's uh, shortly, it's Influencer QL's reputation protocol for secure collaboration like uh, content creation with different creators from diff uh, creators from different socials like uh, telegram twitter uh, and uh, decentralized socials like uh, lens uh, forecaster and deso and so, so on and uh, uh, what we built we built the platform uh, working with uh, two sites my uh, marketplace the one on the one side it's uh, advertisers which need to make uh, collaborations need to make uh, advertisement for for their product and the, uh, for them we, we provide a one click at launch and uh, trust uh, for transparent analytics and reputation which we uh, collect on our protocol and show for advertisers and provide the secure payments uh, for different current content creation and uh, and uh, ad placement and different channels of influencers and QLs in our platform. And for QLs and influencers, they can um, register on our platform, ver verify one's ownership of the channel, and get the monetization tool uh, where the advertisers uh, will, will send the o o order to create the content, uh, publish it on some, some things like this. And proof of reputation, so they uh, have an ID uh, on uh, uh, the, uh, on their wallet and own this reputation score data uh, on uh, on their ID uh, as influencer and QL and have a management tool uh, via our protocol that we can uh, get the order and, and all for the digits, it's um, uh, they can uh, go to the platform and search for suitable influencers directly on the platform from released. Check the, the statistics. Uh, it's uh, the three type of statistics, and I will share next how we collected. Uh, book uh, this statistic, uh, this influencer on the date or content creation with this influencer, and pay with USDC via our scroll smart contract, which froze the payment and will unfroze only after completed that on influencer side. And after that, get updated and uh, guarantee results uh, on of this order or make refund if it's not completed on different reasons. Uh, for influencers, it's uh, they verify the socials uh, and set up prices. For now, we're working with Twitter, Telegram, Lens, and uh, Forecaster influencers also. Uh, and after that, uh, they can uh, accept the order and uh, looking for advertisers which need the uh, content creation and uh, at publishing and uh, complete it on time and grow, grow their reputation. Uh, this reputation, like uh, activity, how much it completed, uh, reviews and uh, all, all this completed this fixed the uh, the payment smart contract and writing uh, on chain and after that uh, get payouts via smart contract after that completed and uh, own uh, 
their reputation and history, uh, which you also store on chain in their profile. Uh, yes, we launched our uh, uh, product uh, more than half a year ago. And now we have uh, 400 verified influencers and it's full, fully worked. But uh, we uh, um, had, a pro had a problem that we needed to scale our solutions for with different ecosystems because for advertisers would be at, at, uh, as a project, the free projects would be useful to use this tool on suitable network and pay on the suitable networks uh, like um, primary EVM networks, it's Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, and like this. And we uh, deployed our solutions, this is a smart contract uh, on different EVM chains. But it was uh, quite difficult to manage the reputation on different chains. So for example, when uh, the payment goes on one chain, it's quite difficult to uh, collect uh, the reputation from other chains and after that uh, make uh, different uh, pre predictions use this data for uh, for utility of our uh, of our platform and we think how can we solve it and we uh, provide the solutions it's a cross-chain protocol uh, with, on icp uh, where icp is a, is a hub chain hub network with core logic and data aggregation from all the end chains it's uh, possible with T tsdi uh, uh, dsa uh, science and uh, uh, we implemented it and use uh, evm networks only for uh, payment settlement and all this data storage and using will be placed on uh, icp and uh, so yes basically what we do we we store the payment on uh, evm chains and after that uh, add orders management uh, will be on ic and uh, ic uh, will uh, connected with uh, all evms and providing the data between them and all rating and data will be collected on icp uh, data from each at campaigns and uh, seamless ux for UM users so they just need to connect uh, just uh, uh, EVM wallets and no, don't know that uh, uh, on the core of this of our protocol works on ICP because ICP uh, allow to provide like gasless transactions and just collect data for for our use for transparent uh, protocol for transparent reputation for influencer side and uh, we Im implemented it and uh, shortly how it works for now with our protocol so like uh, uh, advertisers uh, as uh, web projects can log at budgets on e different event chains for example on ethereum and after that we get uh, get uh, the finalized transactions hash assigned uh, um, uh, on uh, the tether side after that this uh, uh, create an order a transaction hash as an argument on internet computer and uh, after that uh, influencer check that payment uh, completed and uh, on stored on the smart contract and accept the order uh, if the order and uh, add is uh, works for this influencer and he prepared to work with this uh, advertiser and after that validate transactions uh, data even uh, RPC uh, from uh, internet computer to on EVM chain uh, using uh, sign uh, on this chain. Uh, next, uh, we uh, influence the post content on Twitter or different socials and submit the link on this post as a result of this campaign on the ICP internet computer. Uh, and after that, advertiser can check the posted content by the link. And if all is okay, it's like an advertiser manage the influencer in this case, if in the good scenario. And the uh, advertiser uh, approve the uh, content and uh, influencer uh, create the withdraw request and generate the TSDA certificate to get the money locked on the EVM chains uh, of, from ICP. And after that, uh, uh, after signing this certificate, uh, influencer can unlock funds and get uh, this uh, money on EVM chains, uh, on, this, on the similar EVM chains uh, as the Tether pay at the first stage. It's uh, like uh, works uh, right now uh, in it's a uh, technically uh, I can shortly uh, show how it works on the product. <laughs> so because it's quite difficult to 
uh, and then it's uh, only technical side. Uh, on product, it's uh, quite, uh, uh, it's UI for advertiser side when uh, he can find a suitable influencer by different fil filters and using our rating and uh, so uh, and scores, which I also described some later. Example, we can find uh, the suitable influencer as advertiser and uh, check all possible statistics and we collect uh, three types of statistics it's social statistic uh, statistic from socials primary for advertisers to choose uh, influencer and target ad for uh, suitable influencers and create uh, content only with suitable influencers because the primary uh, problem for advertisers they choose the target influencers to prepare the target content and share for target audience because it's it will lead to very great results but if i don't find the right influencers or influencer will be uh, with not target audience uh, it would be a loss of funds and all very bad results and uh, after that it's like on chain data which we also provide it's like uh, pro profiles and uh, data from different uh, prof prof profiles of the influencer and our statistics, it's also like collect, collected from EVM chains. And it's statistics like how much it's uh, completed with influencer, how much was completed in time, uh, how much the response time. So for example, if I uh, start the ad order with this influencer, how fast uh, he accept and start uh, the order. And the score from previous brands and, uh, brands and also reviews. And all this uh, data, especially like uh, uh, this data from uh, EVM smart contracts and reviews after that completed, uh, for now, we can store on ACP uh, and uh, goes to the ACP as I described earlier. And as advisor, I can uh, uh, schedule that, for example, for tomorrow, prepare the text content, for example, or pre prepare the technical requirements and ask influencer uh, and can make a collab. Uh, for example, it's kind of content creation or publishing end on the scheduled date and uh, make a pay payment directly from my wallet, EVM wallet, uh, on the uh, smart contract. And uh, after that, as I described, it would be signed on the uh, ICP and uh, the flow will go between two sides. And uh, on influencer shortly, I also can uh, verify my uh, profile and channel once. And after that, uh, waiting for new ad orders. And uh, when your orders created, I will see it uh, on my ad campaign uh, as a new order. I can uh, check all details and after that approve, uh, completed, provide the link. And uh, if uh, all is okay, I get the payment from this site. Uh, Yes, uh, let's uh, go, go to discuss. To, uh, I, I can dis discuss some uh, our features from ICP, which we implemented and uh, use cases how we implemented. The first one is uh, uh, data from EVM uh, smart contracts. So we aggregated different EVM chains and plan to in future maybe collect, connect more EVM chains suitable for different ad advertisers and collect all data on one hub chain on internet computer for uh, for to work with this data, data is the computer allowed to work with, with it. And our um, architecture works as a, we had a, a layer of on-chain EVMs uh, where uh, placed the smart contract, like a scroll smart contracts, which froze the money from the data side and the froze for influencer after that completed. And uh, internet ACP reputation layer, which store the data from EVM to uh, events to a computer and it's the data which i already described like uh, quality of influencer and previous campaigns uh, the next one is um, a decentralized social aggregation. So uh, with growth of decentralized socials, we target to uh, connect more, especially decentralized socials, because it's uh, more easy and transparent and trusted data from social graph. And we can uh, 
take this data, data directly from uh, forecaster and lens, for example, or new socials that uh, creating right now and growing very fast. And uh, we can use uh, HTTP, HTTP out calls from uh, different central socials and get the data from them uh, directly on internet computer for future using in our protocol. And it will be fully transparent, fully on chain data uh for future use and it can be social uh, statistics for advertisers on chain data about profiles and also after completed like a post publishing from influencer it's also possible to uh, take the data about the post and we can uh, check if all requirements was completed and approve for influencer or if uh, uh, it's not completed the advertiser can like um, make a dispute and yes, the next one, it's a, a dispute resolution with DAO SMS uh, on uh, internet computer. It's, uh, uh, yes, it's in, in case if advertisers and influencer, uh, advertiser prepare the uh, technical requirements or directly the tweet, which need to be uh, to be made by this influencer. But influencer, for example, copy and paste the content or prepare the content and publish it and uh, sign that all is okay and uh, the ad completed. But in case if, for example, influencer not completed the ad or the ad is uh, with bad quality, the tasers can not approve it and uh, make a dispute. In this case, we need a dispute resolution and uh, it can be resolved like uh, with DAO court of experts, which have the uh, expertise in influencer marketing. And in even case with direct uh, technical requirements, for example, copy and paste on just create the content or create a video content by the instructions, uh, we need to resolve these disputes between two sides. Uh, as, and as a result, we had a fully on-chain protocol uh, architecture. It's uh, with a ICP reputation layer on the core with all reputation, history, statistics, aggregation, uh, on-chain EVMs for payment settlement on different uh, EVM chains. And uh, two sides of users, it's advertisers and influencers, which just uh, 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 pay advertiser uh, pay pay the money on the smart contract, froze it, and finish and lock when all is completed. And uh, all the data from EVM, from socials, from on-chain activity of influencer, from DAO, uh, and uh, directly from influencer and advertiser store on uh, internet computer. And how we can use this data for future, uh, which we when we collect uh, the uh, one of uh, our uh, what we target to do, it's uh, use for predictions based on this on uh, trusted and chain data, because the main problem for advertisers for now it's uh, choosing suitable influencers for uh, with different parameters. We have a uh, uh, budgets we, uh, for marketing. They have uh, technical requirements and uh, target results, which we need, need to achieve. And uh, uh, with uh, all stored data about this influencer, we can uh, help for advertisers the choose different package of influencers, target the ad, create content with them and get uh, the better result uh, as possible for these in, in, in advertisers. And especially for different advertisers will be the different packages because uh, it's very different, but depends of advertisers and their product uh, to uh, target and create content with different content creators around the world, target by geo positions, by segment and uh, so, something like this. And also how we can use for token utility, it's primary how our token needs to incentivize the growth of the users for both sides, it's influencers and advertisers. And, uh, but, and also we need for demand sites, it's a uh, growth with a real business model when we pay for the ad and charge fee from each ad complaints. And, uh, need, uh, and we can use this trusted data for different utility like uh, before be reputation and before be services, additional services for advertisers and influencers, uh, create uh, creator economy and governance on the platform. Uh, yes, uh, and uh, now uh, 
let's uh, sh- can shortly <laughs> discuss our uh, my own maybe life hacks uh, something like this to win the hackathons <laughs> and uh, what we, uh, we as a team uh, um, works with them and uh, on some hackathons, maybe we don't manage all of them, and it will it was a uh, loss hackathons. Yes, uh, let's uh, shortly describe this. Yes, the first one is uh, uh, you need to imagine one uh, direct use case of your product. You find the problem, the solutions, and you need to find not different and a lot of use cases, but just one use case which you. Uh, want to implement during the hackathon and uh, uh, collect connect this use case with primary touch touch uh, solution on this hack uh, with the uh, companies which uh, uh, this uh, hackathon created and for, for example with the icp and you need to uh, analyze the docs of the icp uh, find different use cases for this and find about your own product and how you and connect, but uh, you need to find only one use case and not uh, try to solve a lot of use cases because the time is limited and resources is limited and it's mm, uh, need to find only one. Uh, after that, make a mock-ups of the idea and uh, goes to validate it with uh, the mentors. Usually there are a lot of mentors and experts on the hackathon which can uh, help you from different sides. It's a business mentors. It's a, a, a technical mem, uh, mentors, and they can uh, technical mentors. For example, you describe your technical uh, architecture. And they can help you to improve something or add something. It would be very useful because you just first time uh, uh, read the docs, and uh, for mentors, it's quite easy to help you in in direct points. And from business sites, it's also you show your mockups of design. Uh, it's uh, very fast mockups and uh, uh, generate new ideas how to improve your product. Yes, and uh, the both of this uh, need to be <laughs> completed as fast as possible because you need as much uh, <laughs> time uh, for coding because uh, usually who first start the coding and uh, working on your product on hackathons have uh, more benefits on this because uh, more time uh, they have uh, on the later stage to prepare and uh, to prepare the presenting demo and uh, on this. So don't uh, lose time and uh, start coding as soon as possible, but uh, try to complete the first two stages as fast as possible and uh, start coding uh, with your team and create a UI uh, backend and especially blockchain part uh, um, from all fronts um, uh, on one time and complete it in one time. So you need to complete uh, to prepare the fully dem- demo of your product because if it will be also your backend or blockchain or only UI or, or just the pitch deck, it would be not very great because usually it uh, it great it's great create uh, something very little, very small product, but uh, it's working in very small use case. So try to implement it uh, as soon as possible. And uh, uh, think that you need to uh, less some time for future, so you need some time to uh, uh, launch the demo of this MVP, uh, so how it, it works. And after that goes to the mentors, which you already connected earlier or new mentors on the Hackathon and uh, reach out uh, to every mentor, show what you build. It's uh, very uh, great when you just uh, thought about uh, the idea with some mentors and uh, so in some days uh, the uh, the idea is already implemented and you can uh, explain it, show it, and uh, there are a lot of mentors will be involved with your product, help to th- think how to present it, more ideas for the future, and, and all this this uh, step is very important, um, but uh, there are a lot of ti- uh, less time for the <laughs> hackathon and uh, uh, a lot of
lot of uh, projects not uh, have the time to launch this demo and sh show for mentors because <laughs> all uh, uh, completed on the last mi minutes or second seconds on the hackathon and it's but it's not very good and after that uh, in the good case you have a new feedback from the mentors and you don't need to implement all the feedback and ideas on your product because you already have a product, you need to complete your pitch deck and uh, uh, complete all new great ideas in this pitch deck on the future, uh, like uh, after the hackathon, you will uh, grow this product and what ideas you can implement, uh, think about this and what mentor you maybe uh, can continue to work after that and uh, dis describe them. And uh, of course, you need to prepare the pitch and show your demo. It's very important. It's more, more important than pitch uh, on the stage because all people love to see uh, the demo, how it works. It's uh, less important than the pitch. Pitch is primarily only problem and shortly solutions and describing your tech, uh, technical hacks. So what you think on this hackathon and what technical resources you used in your product and described it on the, also in demo and described how it works in your product in the demo. Um, yeah, thank you for your attention. Uh, yes, I have a telegram and uh, our <laughs> company Twitter. Yes, uh, reach me um, telegram if you have it. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, we do have a question, Anton, for you. Uh, Matthias is asking, can you talk about a bit about the upcoming Stellar integration and how would that work in terms of the ISIS Stellar cross communication? Uh, yes. Uh, about. Sorry, can I stop? Yes. Uh, yes uh, about <laughs> about the, the Stellar. Stellar uh, is not connected with uh, ACP. It's, it will be only the payment layer on the Stellar, which will froze the money and unlock for advertisers. It's not connected with the reputation layer for now. So we collect another reputation from uh, decentralized socials as it works right now, and it will work, work on ICP, but Stellar will, will just works only as a payment layer. So it's like EVM chains, but EVM chains uh, connected with ICP. Stellar is not connected to ICP right now. Um, cool. Uh, any other questions, guys? We have a couple of more minutes before two and off. Uh, until then, a uh, question on my own. So you talked about a bit, you know, building hackathon projects and giving best tips for hackathon projects. So what kind of a project would you personally like to see uh, built with B4B? Mm, I think it's uh, it's uh, various projects uh, about ah, as a B4B we uh, really involved in the social FI segment and the decentralized socials growth right now we uh, there are a lot of decentralized socials growing in different ecosystems and if maybe you will uh, think about different social FI mechanics or decentralized socials connected it's quite very interesting for me to discuss and think about this. Uh, okay, amazing. Thank you for the answer. Uh, looks like a couple of people are typing something. So let's give them a second to see if they have a question. Um, until then, uh, I just want to follow up on the uh, hacking tips and, oh yeah, uh, there's a question. Uh, being a multi-chain project, did you build uh, B4B using Motoko or Rust? If Motoko, how did you feel about it versus Rust or Solidity? Mm. Ah, yes, if uh, describe about like, uh, <laughs> yes, on the EVM chains we built on the Solidity. Uh, and uh, primarily uh, like a uh, backend and front end, we use uh, uh, TypeScript, Node.js, uh, React frameworks. Uh, yeah, and uh, yes, on uh, on ACP, we build it on Rust. I think the more maybe technical details, if you're really interested, uh, you also can connect and maybe it's better to discuss with our CTO, with Gregory, because he is primary responsible for architecture of ACPM, I primarily for product part. 
Cool. Um, amazing. I think that about brings us to the end of the uh, session. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Anton, for joining us uh, for your uh, workshop. And thank you to everybody else for tuning in. Uh, see you next Tuesday for the next workshop in the series. Until then, uh, see you and have a lovely evening.